Click to Cast is casting simulation in five easy steps. We open the geometry. We define the end gate and mesh. We set up the process parameters. We run the calculations. And then we analyze the results. The part we're going to use is the tooth on the spinning disc. The first step of the process is we're going to define some additional components. Because we have modeled the end gate and the riser, we need to add a sleeve around the riser to insulate it. So we'll go to sleeve, and we're going to pick the faces of our riser. And then we'll step through the wizard. The next step is to define the end gate. We can use an automatic end gate which will apply the end gate to the entire face that we choose, or we can use an advanced end gate where we define the shape, whether it's rectangular or round. We want round, and then we define the diameter, and then we also define the plane that it will be on. And for ours, it'll be the XZ plane. Then we pick the area that we want the end gate defined on, and then the next step is to define the mesh. We're going to use the default size, so we just hit Create Mesh. Once the mesh is finished, we'll just hit Next on the wizard. And now we define our part material and our mold material. So we're going to use carbon steel, and we're going to use green sand for the mold. For the sleeve parameters, we're going to leave those at the defaults. And for our gravity, it will be in the negative Y. And we're going to use fill time of 4 seconds. And we just hit Next on the wizard. And we can have just the filling analysis, or we can have both the filling and the solidification. We want both, and then we'll hit Calculate. Once the calculation is finished, we can look at the results. There's a couple of main ones we want to look at in the filling process. The first is the flow front. That shows us how the part fills. The next one we might want to look at is the temperature. So we can see what the final temperature of the part is. We can then look at the velocities and that will tell us if we have turbulent areas in the filling process that we might want to change. And then we want to look at air traps. So this will show us if we have any trapped air uh, where we might want to move the riser or add a vent. Now we're going to look at the solidification results. And the main one we want to look at is how the part solidifies. So the area in red is what's liquid. And we want to make sure that the last place to solidify is in the gate and or riser. And that's what our model has. This tells us that we have a good location for the gate and we have a good location for the riser. Another look at that is the porosity. And we can see our porosity is up in the riser where we want it. And that is a look at metal casting with click to cast. Mm -hmm.